Dresses by Ella. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifwa Labi and in today's video it's going to be like a short review of the Cinderella movie on Amazon Prime that was released uh, just a couple of days or yesterday. I mean, is the Cinderella story, do I really need to give a plot to what Cinderella is all about? If you don't know what Cinderella is about, um, I don't know. Basically, Cinderella follows Cinderella, who is being mistreated by her stepmother and her two stepsisters. One day she goes to a ball, she falls in love with the prince, a glass slipper is left behind, and then they live happily ever after. The end. When I saw the marketing for this new Cinderella, I thought this was going to be a different take, a different iteration on the Cinderella story we all know, a la Snow White and the Huntsman. So I was excited, but I tempered my excitement with caution. And then I went in to watch the movie. And all the time I was watching the movie, I was like, why? Like, that's the biggest thing I went, I came away with from the movie with, like, why? Why was this movie made? Because this movie didn't add anything new to the Cinderella folklore. This movie didn't say anything new, apart from the fact that now, instead of the prince being the king and ruling over the kingdom, it was going to be his sister because, you know, he's like a bumbling idiot. So his sister is the one with the ideas. And I don't know if that was like a correct messaging. I know it's supposed to be like a feminist or like a feminist move or like a yay, women can also rule. When that announcement was made, I felt flat. I felt like it wasn't deserved because they were just trying to push their agenda. I mean, there have been so many iterations of Cinderella. We've seen one with Hilary Duff, we've seen the Brandy one, we've seen the one with uh, Lily James. We've seen so many Cinderella stories. So I thought for sure, if you are going to be in 2021 and we are going to get a Cinderella story, it would be different. It would be fun. This movie wasn't. Like, it's an okay movie to watch. But it feels like one of those movies you can keep in the background whilst doing other things. For me, the one thing that raised a red flag was when I saw that it was produced by Sony and not Disney. Now, I know that Cinderella is a public domain you know, story. So it doesn't matter who has the, like the right over it. But the fact that Disney didn't do it gave me like a little pause. Like I know they are, they are in their little, you know, remaking everything and their live action and everything. So I thought for sure they'd jump at this opportunity. But it was Sony. So I said, huh, that's interesting. What was the negotiations like? And then came the actual movie itself. Now, don't get me wrong. This movie hits all the plot points of a basic Cinderella story. Evil stepmother check. Two stepsisters, check. Cinderella living in the basement, check. Cinderella having like a dream, check. It did all those things. A handsome prince, check. But at the same time, it still felt like it was hitting all those points, but it was like a lesser story. And one other thing I didn't like about this movie as much was the music in it. Like at this point, I just want to know what was the budget for the music licensing. And it felt like I was watching Pitch Perfect 4 or 5 because after every three sentences, there was music. I know most of these stories are very music-centered, you know, but at the same time, the music choices that they used were very suspect to me because, one, there was no original music in it. I didn't hear any original music when they used pop music. So there was a lot of, you know, let's get loud. There was a lot of, you know, all the very popular music that would lend itself to the themes of the movie. And so it felt like, where is the let it go? You know, where is the iconic song for the movie? Where is the, you know, Aladdin's various music? Like, did, this Cinderella movie didn't have any original song. It didn't have any iconic song that you come out singing all the time. Like, I know a lot of you had let it go on your mind for like years after you watched Frozen. You just couldn't help it. But this movie doesn't have any of any iconic songs. And so for me, the music not being original was like a, another red flag. I was like, so they didn't even have time to, you know, brainstorm a new music that will swell whilst they are dancing. None of that. Why? Another thing, I feel like the performances were okay. I feel like most of the actors that they used were great actors. Mini Driver is an amazing actor. Pierce Brosnan, same. Idina Menzel, very good. But then it felt like they just, they're like, you know, this movie, don't overact. Don't just hit like the notes we are giving you and then that's it. And it felt very obvious because, you know, when you watch Snow White and the Huntsman, Charlie's throne was just, you know, amazing as the evil queen. And we all know that the evil queen is evil, but she just brought a certain level of evilness to us that was just... It was just right. And also, whilst watching it, I think, and I might be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. 
But I think that this movie was a huge vehicle for Camilla Cabello because she is Cinderella. I feel like they have some movie there that they want her to audition for. And the producers are like, well, we haven't seen her in anything. And they're like, wait, wait, wait. What, what can we give to her that she can easily do and we can easily prove to the producers that she's perfect for the role? And that's what we got for Cinderella. It feels like after Cinderella, we might see her in another starring role somewhere, somewhere. Her performance was okay. I mean, as Cinderella, she did, she said all the right things. And I know that they also wanted to bring another twist in the Cinderella by being that she wants to be like a, a designer, fashion designer, see the world. So I thought when they did that, she would reject the princess advances because it's like, wait, hold on. I don't want to be a prince. I want to be like my own made woman. But it was so interesting for me how she easily capitulated and was like, yes. I'll choose you, I'll choose us. And I'm like, girl, you don't know him, okay? Two minutes ago, all of a sudden, it's him and you against the world. Hey, what happened to your dreams, girl? Don't do this. So anyway, yes, that's how I felt about it. But I'm not going to lie, it's enjoyable if you're cleaning. Like, if you're cleaning in the morning and you put it on, you you know what the Cinderella story is so for, not for anything you'd really like dance at the music because you know the music they are they are using so yeah so Cinderella movie would I say watch it honestly I'd say you know if you are doing something that you want something to be playing in the background watch it but if you really like want to have something to entertain yourself I mean there are several other options you can watch Brandy's Cinderella you can watch the animation again. Anyway, if you've seen the Cinderella movie on Amazon Prime, let me know what you thought about it. Did you really, really enjoy it? Are you like, oh, you know, it's just one of those Cinderella stories. So, you know, whatever. No matter what you felt about the Cinderella movie, let me know. My name is Ifala. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next video.